You can count on or count back to subtract on an open number line. Do you think you will get the same answer whether you count on or count back? Let's find out. Find 10 minus 4. You can count on to subtract. Draw each move as you count. Start with the lesser number. Count on to 10 to find the difference. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You count on 6 spaces to get from 4 to 10. So, 10 minus 4 equals 6. You can also count back to subtract. Start with the greater number. Count back four spaces. 9, 8, 7, 6. You land on 6, so 10 minus 4 equals 6. Counting on and counting back give you the same answer. If you're ever having trouble subtracting two numbers, you can always count on to figure it out. Like 8 minus 3. On a number line, start at the smaller number, 3. Then count on to 8 in order to find the difference. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Well, look at that. It took us 5 moves to count to 8. So that must mean that 8 minus 3 equals 5. Let's see if we can count back and get the same answer. This time, start at the greater number, 8. Here we go. 7, 6, 5. 8 minus 3 equals 5. So whether you count on or count back, you'll always get the same answer. Count on or count back to subtract. Enter the difference. You can use the number line to help you solve. Okay, so if we were using the number line to help us solve 15 minus 8, there's two ways you could do it. You could start at 8, and you would count on. So 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So the difference between 15 and 8 is 7. Now, if you were going to count back, You would then start at 15 and you would count back 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And there our answer is 7. We still come up with 7. So there are two ways you can use the number line to subtract.